hi welcome and this is quick pentium from lens design i'm going to be doing a tutorial on airbrushing that's frequency separation so let's jump into it um first of all i'm going to retouch you know the face of the model a bit so that it looks clean i'll use my healy brush too to do that really quick um, yeah i did some sort of retouching on the face a bit with the healing brush too before i started so go ahead and retouch your model and uh, use any method you feel it's okay for you to clean up their face for a very good uh, airbrush after this so i'll clean this up a bit again so this picture was submitted by knee shots for me to use for this tutorial so he actually hit me up for the tutorial and i'm very happy doing this it's been a while since i made some tutorials but i think this will go a long way not just for this tutorial but more tutorials will come after this so So I guess um, this is pretty much okay to start with. So all that you need to do is you're going to duplicate this layer and then duplicate it again. So we have two layers. I name this soft and I name this uh, texture. So text. So with this layer, I'm going to go to filter, blur, and I'm going to surface blur. You know you should use a parameter comfortable that you're comfortable with okay so this parameter is actually 60 and then 48 you know you can go further and then blend more but the more you do the blur you know the more fake it looks so i think uh, somewhere around 39 ish there about it's okay so let's say 27 is too low so let's say around 32 is okay so i'll go for okay I'll go to my texture, I'll go to filter, I'll go to order, and I'll go to high pass. So I'll put this at. Um, so the more texture you want, the more you push this. But when you push this, it starts giving you color, which you don't want. So um, I, I'll push this probably to around like 2. Yeah, let's see. 2.4. 2.4 is. 2.6 is pretty much okay high texture and i'll change this blending mode to hard lights and boom you have your retouched skin already wow so this is it guys this is it but the only thing is that it's everywhere so you have to control this and the fact is that you can control this the texture and this the soft part of it so this is just the texture information and here you have the let's say you have the color information so texture here and then the color here so you group this together and then you with pressing alt you hit on the layer max too and then it creates a max for you let me bring back the old image okay so you are going to blend this image with the old one so that it doesn't look too fake so now i'm going to paint on all the areas that i want this effect to be at So I'm going to pick my brush, make sure that it's on default, pick a soft to a soft brush, and then make sure it's at 100 percent opacity, and then paint over the places I want this effect to be, you know. So I'll paint around the forehead, you know, on the nose. And this is doing a really good job and be very sure not to go too heavy on the shadow areas be very specific when it comes to painting um, this so that you don't kill your shadows so you don't kill your shadows so you kill most of the details in the image if you paint over the shadows too much X to revert and then paint over places. 
places that you don't want to get okay so x back again to pick a white color then i get some of these places and i don't think i need this part of it so i go for x and i paint that part out paint this part out and then you can also blend your you know opacity you can change the opacity and blend it a bit but we will be doing that later so i go here and then I paint X and I paint over this areas too. No, around there just to make it look better. So with this, I think it's very much okay. I think we're missing spots here. No, I get that spot. Yeah. So this is very good, and I like this right now. So with this, you can just you know tune it in. You know lower the opacity of the layer the group layer and then you can also around them around 100 i like it around 100 and it's okay it's okay so this is it and we are done we are done with the tutorial but if you want to do more you can merge this layer and then create another um, uh, you know separation on it again and then you you go further with it so that's all for this tutorial bye bye